All right, Chris, you know what this sound means. It sounds like uh, Funkmaster Flex is about to drop a new Biggie joint back in 95. That's what it sounds like. It's also time for rapid fire questions. Are you ready, Chris? Should I stretch first? I'm, I think I'm ready, though. Let's go. What was your first car? So when I first got my license, I think like it was like my mom's car it was like a Mazda MX-6 Red. But when I first got my, my own, my first solo car was a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Oh, black. oh my God. And when I was a senior in high school and it was really badass. That was my dream car, the 3000 GT. Look at you. It was badass, dude. Not even a Dodge Stealth. That's the knockoff. You got the 3000 GT. Good for you. Yes. The Stealth, yeah, it looked exactly like it, actually. Yes. What was your first job? I'll tell you when I get one. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite meal to eat for dinner? Um, I really like food. So uh, some type of meat on a bone, I would say, is probably the direction I would go. A nice steak or a really good fried chicken or wings. I like meat on a bone. Like last night, I had a fantastic sushi dinner, so I can go that direction. You know. I like food. And you're a faster and you're a fruit eater, but you still have, you still make room for this. <laughs> yeah. Listen, if I'm going out for a meal or going to have a real dinner or whatever, then uh, I'm going to eat it. But like even, you know, some of the, the restrictive diets that I do like this month, actually I'm on, on the whole 30 diet, which is like paleo plus kind of thing. And like I cooked myself a fantastic ribeye the last two weekends. And you know, you can still, uh, I can have sashimi so I can still, indulge even when i'm being quote unquote good all right we got off track there back to the questions <laughs> favorite movie the category is drama pulp fiction is my my favorite movie of all time favorite comedy movie does eddie murphy raw count we'll take it and along those lines favorite stand-up comedian uh it's eddie by a long mile i'm an I'm a eddie guy and i would say then a gap and then george carlin and then a gap and everyone else what is your big podcast creator and listener today what is your favorite podcast to listen to so right now unfortunately i'm very football focused because i'm a big fantasy football player so i listen to a lot of football content um and i don't want to say the 10 guys that we spoke about already. So I'll give you a, a new one that I'm interested in. It's called 1619. It's done by the New York Times. It's, um, it's basically, it's about, this was 400 years, essentially, uh, 20, you know, 1619, 2019, uh, of slavery. And it's basically the story of how slavery got started and the evolution of, of our country and, and how it relates to slavery. And it's uh, really well produced and really well, well done. I'm still not finished with it, but high, high recommendation. Yeah, something you would have never read about when you were 18, but at 42, you're, you're happy to listen to. Absolutely. All right, let's talk a little music. If you were a major league baseball player, what would your walkout song be? Simon Says by Faro Monch. Uh, for those of you, you guys might not know what that is, but you'll know when I say the hook. Get the fuck up. Dun, 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 dun. You know that one? Now I now I do. I'll play it later. What is the best live concert you've ever seen? Jeez. Uh, fortunately, I've been to many incredible ones. Um, one that sticks out to me always is KRS One at uh, a little place in the West Village called SOBs. And I like intimate concerts more than these. You know, I've seen Up and Smoke Tour and Jay-Z and all these huge artists in these, you know, 20,000 arena, 20,000 seat arenas. And I greatly prefer, you know, I've seen Jay-Z at Hammerstein Ballroom, which is like 1,500 people versus Madison Square Garden. And I love the smaller venue more. But KRS-One at SOBs, I think I was, I was in my 20s and it was like, it's like 300 people. It's so intimate. And he is like a larger than life figure. And he's like the definition of an MC on a stage, like to rock a crowd. Uh, that one just always stands out to me as like this, this special moment where I was like, holy shit, what's going on here? Who is your favorite rap artist today? 
Method Man. And we asked Jesse Itzler this same question sent in by you. I got to ask you, if you could have a guest verse on a rap song, what would it be? I assume you mean what song, not actually drop the, drop the verse right now off the top of my head. You, you can do both, please. I'm not going to do the latter. Uh, right. It would have to be one of the Wu-Tang anthems, either, um, either Protect Your Neck or Triumph, because I'm, uh, I'm a Wu-Tang guy. I have a Wu-Tang tattoo. All right. Great answers, Chris. You, you nailed the rapid fire questions as expected. 